Sunday in the Park with George is based off of the painter George Surratt. It takes place in the 1880s and then jumps 100 years into the future to 1984. And it focuses on how the painting uh, Sunday afternoon on um, the island Grand Jatte was painted and the story behind it and trying to make connections between the different characters in the painting. Pointillism is an art form created by George Surratt where it's various tiny little dots create one big picture because the eye plays a trick on you and these little tiny dots out of focus create one big image. It's really scientific and it was very new and different for their time uh, where George Surratt was criticized for being too mathematical and it just looked like a bunch of blurry pictures without faces, but yet somehow when you look at the painting, it's one complete picture. This musical was written uh, by Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine. It was their first collaboration, and later on they collaborated and created Into the Woods and Passions, which some people are also familiar with. Uh, but this wonderful piece started their artistic partnership where they were staring at this painting and they were seeing it, and they all, they both noticed saying, Hmm. None of them are looking at one another. Everybody in the painting is towards the side and none of them are making eye contact. They were going, there's something missing here. It's the main character. And uh, Sondheim was asking, who is the main character? And Lapine said, the painter. And they knew that they had a show. I am designing props for this show and it's actually been very fun because after doing all the historical research on this piece, I've become familiar of what things really looked like in the 19th century. And it's, I'm getting to try my artistic side, which is fun considering this show is about an artist. And so a lot of painting will be involved and really getting nitty gritty and experiencing the life of George Surratt. So I have the great pleasure of being the dramaturge for this production. And that does sound like a very strange wor word, but tr uh, what a dramaturge actually is, I am the historian of the play. I have researched everything that is referenced in this show, and I have done research about the art history and about the p time period itself and what everything means. So when the actors do have a question, what is a waffle stove or you know, what did these paint palettes look like back in the day? You know, I am the person that they go to. I'm the wealth of knowledge. So really, I do the actor's homework for them. But not everybody has a dramaturge for every production, but it is still a very um, important career field to have. People can major in dramaturgy. My favorite moment in the musical is in Act Two when uh, Dot and George sing Move On. I think it's one of the greatest songs ever performed by Bernadette Peters and Mandy Patinkin, who were the, in the original cast. And no matter, whenever they have a reunion and you see these two singing this song, it makes you feel something every time. I feel goosebumps, I feel the chills, and that's when you know that somebody has really created true art like Stephen Sondheim did with this song. The show is one of a kind. It really was new for their, of its time. In the 80s when this was created, before no one had ever really seen something like this, where they took a risk of going 100 years into the past and then bringing it back to present day and trying to find that connection and really questioning, you know, what is a painting about? Why is it like this? George Surratt might not be as well known as artists such as Picasso or Dali, but it will really make you think differently and hopefully inspire you to cre keep creating new art and just whatever you do every day just to try and stop society's norms and just be who you are and be true to yourself.